Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you use the Bootstrap model in a Google Web App. And in my example, I'm going to show you how you can nest data in for each row here of my table here. So if I click the states, I'm going to get the Bootstrap model pop up right here that gives you the states and the tax rate. And that data is drawn from two tables I got set up here, a regions table where I have the regions one, two, and three. And then I have a breakdown of each region with the states and the tax rate for each state. So a good visual of this, and I'm using the, again, the bootstrap model here, is I can nest that data every time I click the states, I could show that here in a pop-up using the bootstrap model. So I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I got a called Web App Bootstrap Model. I got a regions table with region, area, and name. And I got my regions and my areas and my names here on my region sheet. I got another sheet with my states. So I got my regions down here with my states and my tax rate. Again, these tables have no formulas in it. They're just straight data, just with header records here. Next, I'm gonna to go to my script editor. And now I'm gonna give my project a name. Web app bootstrap model, rename. Next, I'm going to copy in my Google app script code. Now I have that copied. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to create my HTML file. I'm going to name that web app boot, just to, the same as what was in my Google app script code over here. There I have it named. Next, I'm going to copy in my HTML code. There I have it copied. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go over to my code GS file first. Okay, I'm going to go through the code. Uh, the first function I'm using is a do get. This is again a standard Google Apps Script function. This calls your HTML file here and evaluates it. I'm calling it as a create template from file here with the name of my HTML file and then evaluate. And this will render your file up and pull it up when you deploy your web app over here. I'll go over to my HTML file. So the first thing I got set up here is my libraries. And again, this comes from the CDN.js online cloud. And you can pull these libraries off the cloud. I have that link in the description of the video and also I'll have the code in the comments section below the video as well. I'll have both both the HTML file here and the code GS file, the code for both of those. So I have my library set up here, my bootstrap and my jQuery one. Uh, the first, and I'll go down to my HTML code down here on the bottom. Let's kind of go through that real quick. So here I got a bunch of JavaScript here, marked with a script file, the script tag here. That ends down here. That ends my header. My body has just two divs in here, an ID of row data and an ID of states model. And I'll be populating these through my JavaScript here. So if I go back up here, my first JavaScript statement is a document ready statement. And this is basically is saying once everything is loaded on the HTML file, all the elements, this thing will kick off and run. And it's going to call get data here. So here's my get data function down here. So this is the function that's going to run. So the first thing it does is it calls Google, Google script run. And this does is this calls a Google Apps Script function right here. It's a their version of a JavaScript command that will call a Google Apps Script function. And to find that function is I have it wrapped here. Down here is where it ends, and it's calling a function called get regions. 
Now if I go back up here, what I'm doing is I have, after it successfully runs, I'm going to set up a function here that pulls back the data from that Google app script. And that data that's coming back is going to be an array. So let's go over to our get regions. So here I got my get regions function. I'm, I have my object set up, my spreadsheet object from my active spreadsheet. I have region, my sheet name set up here. And I got a get data range. So I'm going to get all the data of my region sheet. And then I'm going to get the values. So again, I'm going to select my range of everything and then getting the values. So if I go over to my regions, here I'm selecting all this and then I'm pulling the data. And how these arrays come back as they're multi-dimensional arrays where each row will consist of arrays. So the first row would be region, area, and name would be array. And then the second array would be one, Midwest, and Steve Smith, and so on. So it's multi-dimensional. That will return back over to my HTML file. And I'll go through here. There I have the array. This console log is for debugging purposes. It's not necessary, but I use it. And I could kind of show you how that works towards the end. Here I'm setting up a variable of display table. And I'm going to be collecting an HTML string concatenating that and that's what this plus equals does it's just going to add on to the string so I'm going to build this huge HTML not huge but good size HTML string and then insert it into my divs down below here on the bottom of row data here so here I'm coming through setting my table calling it main table doing my region area name here I got my array that was coming back. Now I'm going to go through it for four each. And with each one of those, I'm pulling the item and the index. Here I'm looking for index greater than zero. And the reason I'm doing that is because the first row is zero, which is the header row. And I don't need the header row. I just want the data below it. So I'm going greater than zero. So the first one's going to go right by and then they will pick up the second row. Here I'm listing out my items, 0, 1, 2 are the three columns. I'm creating a states button here. So I can click that to get the states. And then on that click, I'm doing a show states function here with the region number that I'm passing here. That's item 0, which would be my 0 column here. I close my table. And now I'm doing an inner HTML with my display table into row data, which again is down below here, right there. So now I have my table displayed. The next thing is I have to create the functionality of the state. So here again, when I click the states, I'm doing an on click show states here, passing the region in. And now I got my function called show states with the region number. Again, calling this Google Run, which I'm going to call Google Apps Script. And that, that function is down here at the end of the call here of get states. And I'm passing the region in. So I'm going to go back over to code GS. I got my get states here. I'm setting up an array. Setting up a spreadsheet. Or setting up my spreadsheet object. Getting my state sheet object getting the last row of the sheet. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to go through each row, starting with row number two. I'm going to skip the first row because that's my header record row. So I'm going to go with row two here. And I'm going to be taking the value of each one column of each row here as I'm iterating through and I'm going to see if it equals the region and if it does equal the region then I'm going to push the rest of the data which will be the state and the tax rate here with my array push here I'm going to push in a record an array on here and then I'm going to be returning that for whatever I got back for return data going back to the web app boot here 
that array will come back as AR. Again, I got a console log for debugging through the browser. And again, I'm using this variable display table to bind a, a big string here of HTML data. And using that concat plus equals here to concatenate that on. So a lot of this code right here or this HTML comes from Bootstrap and how you set up your model. So again, it starts with the model class, then the dialogue, and the content, and the header. And within my header, I'm setting a region with the region number. And then I'm doing a close X in the corner here. That's what this button does. And then this div ends my header, or my title, or the header part of the, the box. Next is my content. So I got my model body, my can container is fluid, and I'm starting with a row with states and tax rate. This is my first columns, and it sets with a class. Again, these classes are all from Bootstrap. I will link the Bootstrap documentation for model within the description of the video here, so you can look at all the documentation here. I'm just showing one example. And then again, I'm doing this AR for each, so I'm going through each row of my array coming back, again, pulling the item in the index, then displaying that. I'm displaying the two rows I'm coming back, which would be states and tax rates. Here I'm closing all my divs up for this model container. And then I am inserting that data. This is a jQuery command. I'm doing an ADR Enter, this is their statement for enter HTML. I'm inserting that display into states model, which is down here. And then I'm calling a, another jQuery command, and this starts up the model. So that starts up the pop-up, which you'll just see on the screen. So that goes through all the code here. I'm gonna hit the save button here, make sure everything is saved before I deploy. I'll go back up to the top here. I'm going to go over to this deploy button. I'm going to hit new deployment. I'm going to go up to here to the setup button here. And I'm going to select web app. And I'm going to hit new. And then I'm going to do execute me and only myself. I'm going to hit deploy. Gonna come through. I think it's gonna come back with my need to set up my permissions or authorize access. I'm gonna click that. Click my account. Click advanced. Click web at Bootstrap and click allow. It's gonna keep going through. And then now I got my URL down here, which I can click going to pop up. I got my region here and now if I click states it's going to pop in my bootstrap model. So then I can go over here I could show you what those console logs are doing here with uh, more tools, development tools and if I scroll here I see these arrays coming through where it says array four, array three, that's the data that's coming through and that's what's showing my console logs here. So this is the data that's shifting through from my array. If I go back over here, I can kind of highlight this. This right here, that's what's showing there. And it's kind of nice for debugging because you can see the array kind of come through. So, I kind of did this a video not too long ago on Colorbox. It's kind of a similar thing that you can do these pop-ups and stuff and it helps you nest data in. It gives a better appearance. This is just another way, another example of how you can do that. Very similar to Colorbox, but it is different because it is a bootstrap library and Colorbox is its own library. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below the video. Until next time.